कोहेरेंस वर्सेस कोहियन एक्चुअली व्हाट इज कोहेरेंस एंड वर्सेस व्हाट इज कोहियन कोहेरेंस मीन कनेक्शन ऑफ आइडियाज एट पैराग्राफ लेवल एंड कोहियन मींस कनेक्शन ऑफ सेंटेंस कनेक्शन ऑफ सेंटेंस actually cohesion is a relationship between sentences and in sentence within sentences and coherence ta- talks about uh, the ideas we are going to see here uh, coherence very general principle of interpretation of language in context means to see you are observing what is the context of that paragraph that post that essay that writing what is the context uh, what is the idea what is the thought behind Uh, that writing that is coherence and fewer formal linguistics feature example vocabulary choice there are some linguistics features are also there because the words depict what is the meaning what is the context who defines um, context which thing that describes what is what is the text remember that the words have tone words have feelings i how i can say words have feeling because through words we discuss feelings so some of the words that are used in a uh, pathetic situation may not be used in uh, a pleasant situation so in this context ling- for fewer formal linguistics feature are also included in your coherence that by using sad word you are telling about your coherence that you are sad there is something bad, there is something uh, bad that had happened with you in in, uh, in the time and you, that's why you are sad by using words by using linguistics features mean vocabulary choice you are telling about yourself that it has happened to you so here uh, at at little bit at to some extent coherence is involved with linguistics feature and the second thing uh, relationships deal with text as a whole coherence talks about the whole paragraph whole writing ठीक है पूरी राइटिंग में क्या आइडिया आया है आपका उसके उसके बारे में ये तो नहीं हो रहा कि कहीं राइटिंग के अंदर ही आपके जो पैराग्राफ के जो आइडियाज हैं वो एक दूसरे से कनेक्ट नहीं हो रहे कोहेरेंस एक्चुअली मीन द कनेक्शन ऑफ आइडियाज विद ईच अदर हाउ दे आर मेकिंग अ सेंस हाउ दे आर गेटिंग टू गैदर एंड मेकिंग अ सेंस दैट यू आर टॉकिंग अबाउट समथिंग पर्टिकुलर यू आर नॉट वेरिंग फ्रॉम योर टॉपिक इफ यू देर वुड बी नो कोहेरेंट it means you will be talking about something else while you have been asked something else so you need to be very coherent while writing your essay for this you have to firstly you have to research over your topic you have to understand you have to make a sense that either uh, whether the, the thing which i am going to discuss is matching with the other paragraph is matching with the next thing which i will be telling that's why outlines remember firstly make outlines so you may guess that what are the ideas what are the things which you go, which you are going to discuss in next paragraph so in this way you will be making a sense you will be making a coherence otherwise if you if you don't make outlines you will not be getting ideas that what should be the next one now okay firstly remember remember firstly uh You know, make outlines make outlines and uh, overview them that uh, review them again and again and that they either whether they have uh, uh, coherence whether the ideas or the organization of the arrangements of the paragraph or the aspects of the essay is uh, right or is correct remember if you have uh, talked about something which should be at the end which should be before conclusion and you are talking about it in the first two or three paragraph so you have failed in coherence you have failed in organization and organization is the very necessary thing to be pass this exam for css exams of english speaking essay so there should be coherence in your essay based on primarily primarily means to say that what the actual thing you are talking about if you have written about economy economy of the pakistan the formal economy of the pakistan in the way forward that in your whole essay the context is economy the context is economy 
every paragraph reflects that you are talking about economy and your paragraphs links with each other your ideas are connected with with each other and uh, you are um, uh, putting them in an arrangement your sense is clear means if you will not be putting your uh, paragraph in a sequence in a coherence examiners of the paper checker will get bored and ultimately he he what he will do he will fail you so coherence is too much important and the second thing cohesion cohesion mean formal linguistics feature repetition reference it's a linguistics feature cohesive devices uh, if you have ever uh, read about it cohesive devices as however however is a cohesive device Although is a cohesive device since until so these are the uh, linguistic feature are the formal words that are at sentence level and uh, it describes the relationship between the sentence sentences and uh, within the sentences how the sentences are making concord uh, mm, is the concord between within the sentence uh, between verb and between uh, noun is correct are the helping verb are the formal or the function words which have been used uh, whether they are correct or not this all uh, this is all dealt in cohesion uh, cohesion to make your sentences remember that if you have command over coherence you can uh, talk about cohesion means to say you just have to memorize some of the phrases some of the cohesive devices in order to uh, your in order to write in order to decode uh, encode your coherent thoughts in order to decode your uh, encode your coherent thoughts in a form of a writing while putting um, cohesive devices like you are talking about if uh, right now we uh, are facing uh, in our days uh, coronavirus Uh, let's take an example that how you will be putting cohesion in that sense you are talking that uh, um, coronavirus has devastated the financial global financial system this is the first uh, uh, paragraph this is the first line this is the first sentence of the topic sentence coronavirus has devastated the global financial system next how you will connect this sentence with the next one you will be putting a cohesive device however you will be saying you will be writing there however efforts are being done efforts attempts are efforts are being attempted koshishein ki ja rahi hain ki isko behtar kiya jaye corona virus ko se deal kiya jaye tackle kar liya jaye isko contain kar kiya ja sake so however here is a cohesive device in your role as a by jumping from one sentence to other sentence you should use co- 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 cohesive devices in a way that your coherent ideas can be uh, read in a sequence and in this way examiner will not get bored and he will uh, credit you for it in a result he will be passing you so uh, for uh, command over co- cohesion you need to memorize you need to understand uh, many uh, cohesive devices you have to cram them you have to uh, use in your daily written and uh, spoken discourse so that you will be able uh, in your exams in your essay papers and there you can use them there are many other cohesive devices like uh, uh, until unless the functional words most of the functional words like cohesive devices that how they are making uh, how they are uh, uh, connecting the sentences the paragraphs in in, the, in this way uh, your cohesion will be in uh, while talking about language and linguistics feature of essay it's too much important because most of the pe- some of the people say that it's a paper of just your uh, research or research thoughts not remember see the topic english essay means english is the first demand so when you uh, are supposed to write english essay so your language should be perfect rather i should say uh, must be perfect your language must be perfect while you have uh, ideas uh, you have command over that how 
you can write a script a paragraph and essay uh, while in a sequence while putting the arrangements while putting the organization and clarity is there okay some of the people what they some people uh, extends their essay they exaggerates the thing they tell thing they are which are not asked in your paper which are irrelevant to your uh, topic i will suggest don't go for this you don't need to complete 3000 words your 18 to 2000 1800 to 2000 words are enough if they are coherent and cohesive if there is coherence in your paragraph and cohesion you 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 are putting clarity you you have uh, 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 written relevant ideas you will be getting sense you will be passed inshallah if if you will put this and if you uh, just uh, writing uh, whatever you are whatever coming in your mind it will backfire you remember that uh, you are dealing a paragraph for a paragraph you should discuss one idea in one paragraph don't mingle up two or three different ideas in one paragraph it will just backfire you it will spoil the taste of your essay examiner will not check your rest of the paragraph if you do this remember that for for a paragraph you should uh, observe three things or uh, four things you should be uh, you should note these four points that a para paragraph consists of four things topic sentence topic sentence explanation of topic sentence second one is the explanation of topic sentence that how you are going to explain your topic and the third one is the example case in point that how you are going to prove your stance how you are going to prove your statements topic sentence while uh, uh, putting in case in point it should be it can be uh, it should be authentic must be authentic uh, whereas you can give a case point from anywhere from international level from national level from domestic level wherever it is uh, it is if but just take that it is related it is relevant and it is uh, authentic so and the third one case point and the last one thing in the paragraph uh, is the concluding sentence how you are going to conclude your uh, paragraph writing while writing a concluding sentence these are the four parts of a paragraph you have to discuss one idea in one paragraph and you will be putting there these uh, four things means you will be putting there uh, topic sentence uh, your explanation of topic sentence is the second one and third one case in point are uh, mean to say examples and the fourth one your concluding sentence inshallah uh, in next video video number four this was a video number three in video number four we will be talking about uh, different domains of F fpsa favorite essays